Hello and welcome everyone to this video where I will show you how to replace the battery of your Sony WF-1000XM3 earbuds. This video will be useful for people who are facing issues with their batteries that either died or have their playtime dramatically reduced compared to when they bought them. The replacement is pretty easy, it can be done by anyone, it's completely non-destructive and shouldn't take you more than 10 to 20 minutes for both earbuds. First, you'll need to acquire two new batteries with the following model, CP1254A3 from the brand Varta. Be careful to not buy another model, as there is also the A2 that exists, but is of a lower capacity. I got mine from AliExpress, as I couldn't find them on any other marketplace like Amazon. You'll find the link in the description that will redirect you to them. They cost me a total of 15 euros and 74 cents shipping included or a bit more than 18 US dollars. When it comes to the tools, there are three things you will need. A Philips 3 0 screwdriver, any type of thin object that is thin enough to open the earbud, such as a guitar pick, and a plastic sponger to lift the battery. If you don't have any of these tools, I would recommend to get the iFixit Essential Electronics Toolkit as it contains everything you'll need to perform the replacement and will also be useful in the future for any other repairs you need to perform. It will cost you around 25 euros. You'll find a link to the toolkit in the descriptions. These are the tools I personally use as they are very high quality. Also, if you've never heard of iFixit, I'd suggest you to give it a look as not only do they sell very high quality tools, and gets, but also they host thousands of guides made by the community on how to fix many of the electronics you have. This replacement video will also be uploaded to iFixit and you'll find the link to the written guide in the description in case you need it. Now onto the replacement. First, remove the silicone earpieces from both earbuds and put them aside. Now, grab the iFixit pick and stick it into the side where the top cover is clipped into the body of the earbud. Once the clips on the first side are undone, let the pick there so it doesn't close back. Then grab a second pick and run it through the other side of the earbud and you will hear it pop open. The cover might not fall down by itself as there is a bit of sticky plastic that holds it down as highlighted here in red. Now that the top cover is off, grab your Philips head screw. There will be a total of two screws to remove. That you can see here highlight highlighted in red. Be careful to not lose the screws as they are pretty small and they could easily be lost if they fall on the ground. The screw is now removed, you can lift up the plastic part without a problem but be careful to not rip the electronic ribbon connecting both pieces. If broken, the microphone, no noise cancellation and touch control will, will cease working. You will now see the battery highlighted here. Insert the plastic spudger on the, on the side of the battery and take the battery out. It is held down by a bit of double sided adhesive which is pretty easy to, to get out. Now that the battery has been removed, please pay attention to the plastic molding and the metal contact on the battery as you'll need to perfectly align them when putting back the new battery. There is a little dot on the metal contact that you can use as a guide to put it back. You will now remove the metal contact from the old battery. Try to keep as much as adhesive as possible on the metal contact as it will make it easier 
to put the new battery pack into place. Now grab the new battery and put a metal contact on the negative side. It's also the side where you will find the writings on. You can now put the battery back into place and be careful to align the contact correctly as shown before in the plastic mold. Press down a bit, now close the top and put the screws back in and make sure you tighten them enough so the battery makes good contact. Once done, you can put back the top cover of the earbud into place. It will just clip in and the earbuds will look like you'll never open them. Put the silicone earpiece back on the earbud and put the earbud in the charging case. It will begin to charge almost directly. You'll see the red light on the side of the earbud indicating that it's charging. Be aware that it could take a few seconds before it lights up if the battery arrived completely dead. The charge will be done when there is no light anymore. Now onto the testing and results of the new batteries. I got the earbuds a few weeks after they came out in 2019 and they have a lot of use since then as I listen to music almost every day and a few hours per day. To test them I did a stress test that is quite unrealistic but I that I could replicate easily. Here are the settings used. For the codec I used AAC the noise cancelling was on on the maximum setting, the SEEHX was turned on as well and the volume was at 100%. For the content that was playing, it was every time the same Spotify playlist that was playing at the highest quality that Spotify allows to play. Two runs per were done on the old and the new batteries and a complete charge was done between each run. Now, for the old batteries, on the first run, they died after 69 minutes. Nice. And on the second run, they died after 73 minutes, which gives a rough average of 71 minutes of playtime for the old batteries. When it comes to the new batteries, the first run was 105 minutes and the second one was 106 minutes, which gives a pretty good idea of the average. If we compare the old and the new ones, the average of the new battery gives a net 34 and a half minutes of additional play times with these settings, which equates to a total of 74.9% of battery life gained, which is quite a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it has helped you to get back the amount of play time that your earbuds gave you when they were new. And don't forget to check iFixit if you have any other repair needs, as they probably have a guide for it.